Hey, thanks for joining. Today we're gonna to be looking at multiplying four digit by one digit numbers using area models. For this example, we're gonna use the number 3,584 times six equals blank. So when solving problems using an area model, you're gonna draw a rectangular figure. In this instance, we're gonna draw a, a one by four. We're gonna have one, two, three, and four. So we have one block or one set, one row going this way and four columns. So one by four. Above this number, we're gonna put this top. This first number, we're gonna put three. This three is in what place value? It's in the thousands. So we're gonna put 3,000. And this next column, we're gonna put the five, and that five is worth how much? It's in what place value? The hundred, so that five is worth 500. This next box, we're gonna put eight, and the value of this eight is 80, because it's in the tens place. And last but not least, we have a four, which is in the ones place. So we broke this number down into what you might recognize as expanded form. Expanded form, you'll see pluses in between each of the numbers. 3,000 plus 500 plus 80 plus four equals 3,584. This is expanded form. I have a one over here, but it should be a six. Now, we're gonna solve each of these questions or each of these equations and after we add them after we solve them we're gonna add them up to get our total answer so in parentheses I'm gonna put six times 3,000 so I know what I'm doing in this box in this box I'm gonna solve six times 500 in this box I'm going to do six times 80 and in this last box I'm gonna do six times four Six times three is all we really need to solve and then just add the three zeros behind our answer. Six times three is 18. How many zeros do we need to add? One, two, three. Same for this one. All we need to solve is six times five. Six times five is 30. And how many zeros do we need to add? One, two. One, two. Six times eight is 48. Good job. And how many zeros do we need to add? Just one. And six times four is 24. After we multiplied all of these parts of the number, we line up our numbers, or our answers, our product, and we get our final answer. What did I do wrong right here? Can anybody leave in the comments what I did wrong? Just in case you don't know, I put 24. I didn't line the 24 up correctly. I put the 24 in the hundreds place, started it off in the tens and the twos in the hundreds, but the four should be in what place value? It should be in the ones place value. So this is wrong. So let's try it again. Let's line it up correctly. We gotta be always mindful of how we're lining up our work because it truly affects our answer. You can do everything right and just misalign your your work and have the completely wrong answer be off by hundreds all right so let's go ahead and add this up four plus zero plus zero plus zero is four two plus eight is ten plus zero plus zero still ten so i put my zero here but i carry the one four plus one is five eight plus three is eleven one plus one 
is 2. So our answer is 21,504. Thanks for joining, and I will see you next time.